APG Jamie here. And today, on behalf of Art Joy of Sharing, that's hashtag AJOS2020, because it's the year 2020, y'all. Uh, month of June, just saying. Um, any hoots, it's a, uh, also a hashtag ATCAD20. That's Artist Trading Card a Day 20. Okay? Could also be Artist Trading Coin. Your choice, I'm pretty sure. Okay? So, any hoots, um, as you may have noticed on social media, I did not do a trading card a day this month. I, um, you know, didn't have the. Uh, time to really do the challenge so I chose not to do the challenge because you don't have to do every one all right just saying it's not a failure not to complete a challenge either here uh, uh, right here y'all saw I uh, clodged down a napkin onto two uh, trading card backs. The official tri uh, size of artist trading card is two and a half by three and a half orientation of your choice. And that is the actual real size of a legitimate artist trading card. Uh, coins are two and a half inch circle officially. Anything else is considered a tile or uh, circle. Whatever. <laughs> I have some, uh, really all the stuff that I used is scraps, including these die cuts um, and future die cuts if I use any, I don't know. And that little image there that I trimmed out. Y'all saw me trimming out and I'm just gluing it all together because, you know, it doesn't have to, uh, you don't have to invest a tremendous amount of time in doing these um projects or challenges either. This first card I think took about 15 minutes. Of course, like I said, these were uh, things that I already had laying around. I just gathered them up because I thought, yeah, that looks that looks okay to me. So um, that's what I did. I did not spend any time die cutting or anything like that. So it's just essentially you know, about 15 minutes. It took, um, you know, a couple minutes with heat gun, y'all, to um, dry the napkin, or either that or I collaged it and then went and ate lunch. It could, it could have been any of those things. I, I, I don't know. Could it could have been. So, um, yeah. But you do want to make sure it's dry before you proceed on. And we're just going to glue down these die cuts. Anyways, before I interrupted myself prowling, I'm guessing because you know short term I don't I don't know y'all ADD <sighs> better things to think about better things to that would be B T T A B T D A better things to oh B T T T T T T T A ah whatever whatever you gonna call it. Sometimes pressure is good. It makes you get motivated and presses you on to uh, do a project and complete a project. I do have friends that uh, wait till the last minute because they feel that they work better under pressure. It actually does take away from your time to think about stuff. All right? Just saying. So if pondering things is an issue, you might want to put yourself under a little pressure. That's what that journaling by five thing by Shannon Green, y'all know by Shannon Green. Anyway, journaling by five. That is to get you out of your thought mode. Mode, mold, thought mode, mode. M-O-O-D, mode. Um, mm hmm and to just get you to putting things together and let your intuition lead you. Oh, here on this part, on this little butterfly that I double-sided, I'm putting, uh, you know, the antenna on, and I'm just using some black thread. This is my favorite way to do it. I did learn this from Dear Julie Julie, and um, y'all can look her up if you want to. She does a lot of fun little stuffs, and uh, any hoots. 
So we're just going to add a little shadowing and just a little ground for our little fairy to be sitting on. Um, is this the best artist trading card I've ever made? No. Do I like it? Yes. Not everything is a masterpiece. It's the process that should make you happy. Okay? Just saying. Anywho. Sometimes pressure is good. Sometimes pressure is overwhelming. In which case it makes you stress and become anxious about it. Excitement is good. Anxious is, is not one of those things we prefer to have. Here I'm rounding the corners. Well, you can see that. I didn't have to tell you that. We're going to ink too. I didn't have to tell you that neither. So, um, yeah. Video is sped up for your viewing convenience. And there is a list of ingredients in the description box below. Click on the words show more to see more information. Okay? Okay. Um, yep, yeah, I lost myself again. We'll, we'll just rattle on and repeat things ad nauseum. And you pick your own drinking word of the video. As I understand, that could be fun for drinking folks, all right? And sometimes it has, I have been told to use caution if y'all drinking and watching my video because sometimes people have snorted and are expelled fluids from their nose because of some funny thing I said or did. I don't know because I just never know what I'm going to say. It's always a surprise to you and me. Which is why voiceovers are good because then at least on that part I can kind of focus more on what I'm talking about and showing you. As opposed to like, oh look how pretty with that diamond in the middle, y'all. And that big butterfly was too big and this little one's pretty, it's, it's pretty much about the okay right size. Alright, now we're going to move on to the second one. Oh, I do glue uh, uh, computer printed uh, backs onto these and I titled them and all that good stuff because, you know, I'm a good girl like that. Any hoots, I decided because I had that lace out and I really meant to use the lace on that first one, but I forgot it was laying there and I thought I saw that lace and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to use that. So let's just put that on the second one because it's okay. It's all good, y'all. So we're just going to trim it off. I'm just going to raggedly trim it off because because that's what I'm doing. You want to be precise? Be precise. Now y'all saw inked around this one to begin with because I, I am using that other. That's actually the negative part of a die cut. Fine die cut, y'all. Anywho. And I'm just going to trim it up. And for some reason in my head, it fit better on the card when I tried it on for size. But it's really not quite wide enough. But that's, you know, it's just one of those things. We're just going to cut it apart and we're going to make it work. So we're going to make it work. And as you may be able to tell from the background sounds and joyous sounds, I am multitasking by doing the dishes. <laughs> yes. So we're going to cut up this uh, negative part of a die cut. We're going to glue it on. And I'm using um, Art uh, art Glitter Glue and Aileen's Original Tacky Glue, my favorite. Uh, enter, you know, whatever I feel like, depending on what size of line I think I want a glue, I want. I do tend to use the Tacky Glue for heavier items and stuff like that because I don't know I just feel that it works better I don't have any Fabri-Tac or Fix Fabri-Fix I don't know what that other one's called it's essentially the same glue as I understand it anyway I don't have any of that so I'm figuring out where I want to put that one we decided we're going to put that so I'm trying to work fairly quickly now, I think this second one probably took about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. That's just a guess on my part because I had to disassemble and assemble that third die cut. And it still makes me happy, y'all. These 
just make me happy. How fun is that? I mean, just Miss Marshy. Oh, I had already, this one did take longer because I pulled out some, um, I have some um, paper play cast gears that I'm going to use. Y'all probably, probably saw that in the thumb or in the promo, if you saw the promo, because sometimes I share them and sometimes I, I just don't get around to it. It's just one of them Any hoot. We're going to use those. That's a little clock with some gears on it. And I ended up not liking it on there. So we're not going to use that at all. Because I don't have to use it. Because cause I got it out. Didn't mean I have to use it. And I'm like, yeah, kind of like that. Okay, we'll use those. Okay, go away clock. And I'm like, you know, I want to paint these things. Oh, first I need to file off the... Because it is paper clay. And r really, with any clay, you're going to have some little bits that come out uh, from the mold that are not uh, necessarily perfect all the time. And I'm just using that there emery board to file off some of the stuff. I do recommend you wear a mask, you know, a little dust mask, because you don't really want to be breathing these fibers and junk in of any kind of clay. Just saying. And... Uh, you want to, when you're using that emery file, you want to file in one direction so that it actually uh, trims it off instead of roughing it up. If you go back and forth, sometimes that can rough it up. And I did that on all three of these. I didn't think you necessarily needed to see that because, you know, it's a little boring doing it for, you know. So I guess this one actually even took longer than, it probably took about 30 minutes because I did do all that. I'm not including drying time. Because I used heat guns, so I don't know what real drying time would be, y'all. Just saying. So, any hoodles. Paint it green, because I thought, you know what? I want it green. That's why I decided. That's a computer printed uh, sentiment phrase thing. Every once in a while, well, I do collect words. As a poet, we do tend to collect words and phrases because some days we like this word and some days we like that word and you just never know which you know and sometimes the words all end up coming together and you're like well that's a whole poem right there that's just a poem of itself so you know any hoots so I trimmed that off of the because I, I print them out onto cardstock white cardstock and uh, so I printed it out and edged it in the green and I smeared a little of the green paint on the words so I thought well we'll just cover the whole thing up more or less just a little bit lightly almost like a wash so that's what I did and here we got varnish this is a gloss varnish because I thought I think I want shiny gears y'all so that's what we're doing we're just putting some gloss on there now you shouldn't necessarily heat gun gloss dry it doesn't like it so much it's more inclined to bubble than uh, a matte medium and I thought well that's where we're gonna put our phrase right down there and um, no at the top of my head I don't remember what it says this was filmed you know a few days ago well you know I wouldn't have remembered if I read it five minutes ago who who are you kidding y'all Y'all know better. So there I'm taking my pokey tool. This is a replacement pokey tool because, you know, as you know, I misplaced my favorite one. Someone took it, hit it, something. I don't know what y'all did with it. So it's a replacement pokey tool. And um, it works just fine. This is that other one was my first one. And so we're, you know, attached sentimentally. So um, anyway, putting the gears on so that they kind of look like they're rolling around together. It's probably not how I originally had it set up and was going to do it, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm taking the pokey tool and I'm wiping off the excess glue because I personally, for me, don't like to see big old globules of glue. Just saying. Okay? So now we're going to put some diamonds on. We're going to put one diamond on. And I thought, well, that's too big for that other gear. So I found some smaller diamonds. And and we're going to use that any, any year now. Any year. And whenever. Uh, I, I always think it's fun when my voiceovers get out of sync a link with... Um, 
um, the video portion. Oh my gosh, y'all. Find your words, APT. So I used another little uh, little gem on that big wheel, and it just fell right. Well, it didn't fall. It smooshed all the way down and all. So I had to come back and use a bigger gem. Diamond. Bigger diamond on that one. So trying to decide what color I want because I was putting different colors on there. Probably could have should have stayed with the same color, but whatever. It's done. Okay, well that that little gem just went all the way through the hole. <laughs> Let's put on a bigger one. There we go. Okay. It's done. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Ta da Not done. I saw that uh, bigger butterfly over there and I thought, well, let's just put that on this one because why not? So I found that other little piece of Papa Dot and we're just going to stick it under one wing. I thought it would just lift it up a little bit. I don't think it really made a difference on it. I don't know. Not really. But I like that butterfly on there. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Can't use the clip. It's got the pin in it. So there we go. Now it's done. Now it's more to the photo montage. I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions. If you've not done so, please take a moment and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications of new videos and live shows if you have your account set up to do so. Please stay tuned for the outro. Well, there we have it. My take on the art joy of sharing hashtag ATCAD20, which is artist trading card a day. I would I would guess that you could have uh, done an artist trading coin as well. Uh, as you saw, I didn't do any coins and I only did two trading cards. Uh, as I probably already said, oh uh, yeah, I don't remember, that um, you don't have to do every challenge, and you don't actually have to complete every challenge, uh, especially when things come up. There's a good kind of pressure that uh, makes you more motivated to do things, and then there's the bad kind of pressure where you end up feeling all stressed and um, stuff like that. Um, I, APG Jamie, hereby grant you permission to not take part in every challenge and to not complete every challenge you do take part in. Give yeah, my permission, because I said so. Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.